Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Today's episode is going to be pretty darn heckin' exciting. So, we've been spending a little bit of time in the tropical wilds. We got a third of the fruit there. And there's other places we could go off into explore, but for now, we're going to get some more work done in the tropical wilds. Today's episode is actually going to be pretty exciting, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Today's episode is all about signals. So we're going to gather a little bit of fruit today, and then uh, maybe we'll have ourselves a little bit of a battle. How's that sound? So one of the things that we're going to need to do is, it doesn't really matter what your team composition is for today, that's not super important. We're going to want to gather a good amount of rocks and yellows. Now one of the things that's really nice, as an addition to this game that I really appreciate, is they have no longer made it a thing where only yellows can be the ones to carry bomb rocks. So that's super helpful. One of the things that we're going to want to do is gather some bomb rocks here. And also, yellows aren't the only ones that can dig up stuff, which is good. The game wants you to believe that, that yellow are the most proficient at digging, which is true. However, they are not the only Pikmin that will dig up stuff. So we opened this area last time. Now that might look like a boss arena that we want to do today. So one of those two things is true. Is it a boss arena? Maybe. Is it something we want to do today? No. So we will not be doing that today. So instead, we will be collecting some bomb rocks from around the world, around the tropical wilds that will benefit us in an alternative way here very shortly that I can promise you. You're gonna want to have at least five bomb rocks on your team before we make any big progress. Do you need these bomb rocks? No, you do not. However, I prefer to have them. It just kind of helps. Now I should have left a captain with the yellows, so I'm gonna go back and fetch them real quick. One of the nice things that the game does have for you is the ability to just Use the co-pad and tell your captains to just go. Just get your butts in gear and go. I really enjoy that. It makes my life a lot easier because one of the things, if I'm being completely vulnerable with whoever is going to be watching this video today and forever, uh, my sense of direction is not great. In my family, it appears as though my siblings acquired those genes and I did not. So... You'll have to bear with me. I am somebody who greatly loves GPS. It takes me a little bit of muscle memory to get back in the realm of how to get certain places. Once I learn the direction of someplace, I'm normally pretty good. But, you know, until that happens, uh, it can be a little, a wee bit of a, of a struggle. But I, reg I digress. I almost said I regress. I mean, I do regress all the time. But that's kind of what humanity is all about, as we develop and regress in certain ways and whatnot. This is not meant to be an existential episode, don't worry. So we're going to speed things up a little bit and go pick up the red Pikmin, which have gotten some bomb rocks for us as well. Just a reminder, you can use any Pikmin to get bomb rocks. So I believe that's the five I asked for. That is correct. Now, it's about having five bomb rocks that you use in a very dutiful way. You know, it's not required that you have five, but it definitely makes things easier. So one of the things that we need to be heading towards is this very foreboding area here. I wonder what it could possibly be. So instead of exploring and trying to find it on my own, I'm just gonna have the game allow me to use the co-pad to get myself there. This is actually the area that we cleared up earlier when we pushed this bag. So it's just that. That's it. That's the way that you find it. You're going to head this way and over the river and through the woods. And what's kind of nice is like the music gets really quiet and all you hear is like this whispering wind. Spoopy. This is my ASMR edition of the video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you really enjoy Pikmin. This is a boss fight. All right, so here we go, everybody. 
As you can see, there are some data files on the outside, which may be interesting, but what's more interesting is that thing in the sand. Huh. That looks kind of familiar, but not exactly. I wonder what it could be. Okay. So, if you guys remember before, we were able to get one of those old Nokia phones to boost the signal of the Drake. This appears to be another communication device. Could be useful. Maybe it'll help us to find the cosmic drive key. So we'll send our highly skilled yellows, our, our digging professionals, our excavators, and holy smokes! Check out the Botox on that one. All right, everybody. This is the Belch and Mir Slug. So first things first, the Belching Mirror Slug has got a big ol' appetite. And it. That sounded like a fart. It. Loves it some bomb rocks. I mean, I love to give it bomb rocks. Does it love bomb rocks? I don't know. But this is our first time to use the spicy spray. We're gonna wanna charge all of our Pikmin at the Mirror Slug. Make sure we whistle them back. And then make sure you're hi highlighted back on your Bomb Rock Pikmin. So the Mirror Slug is going to burrow around. And from time to time, it's going to pop out of the out of the sand looking oh so phallic. And vomit its own Bomb Rocks at us. Thankfully, those don't explode. So we're actually going to need to burn another Spicy Spray in this fight. Basically, what you need to be mindful of is that as it burrows, it's going to create holes in the sand. And that's when you're going to want to throw your bomb rocks. Now there will be a time when as we do this, we can, I guess we can just pick up these data files as we're running around. So there you go. Use the bomb rocks when it's inhaling. So it's going to suck on our big rocks. And uh, yeah, just make sure you keep running around. Whistle your Pikmin if they get too far away. Wait for those moments when it's trying to suck on us and it's big dirty hole. That's when you're going to throw your, your Pikmin. You have to be quick. So when the hole pops up, like this, you're gonna throw it right away and let it take a big old gobble on our big, big rock. We're gonna use our, use all of our Pikmin. And unfortunately, it's not gonna be enough. Now, here's where you have to be very careful because it's gonna make this big, big uh, perimeter. Oh boy, get over here. It's gonna make this big perimeter down in the middle of the arena where it's going to suck everything in. And we can still send a, a bomb. No, 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 no. A bomb rock. Come on, get in there. Come on. Yeah, boy. Three bomb rocks it is. I said five, but you really only need the three. Two spicy sprays, three bomb rocks. You probably didn't even really need that. And then a huge fruit exploded out of it. Uh, whew. What on earth is this? Now, here is the rub, everybody. You're gonna need a ton of Pikmin to carry everything back. First things first. You're gonna need at least, okay. At least stuck on something? I gave you what you needed. I wonder if the cell phone's in the way. You're gonna need to get this juicy fruit out of the way as well. Yeah. So, for whatever reason, the game had this fruit explode into chunks. Oh, it's stuck, I see. I see, I'm on to your games. You're gonna bring all these fruit back. That's what she said. You can divide it up, it's so big. All right, everybody, carry these little chunks of fruit. I think it's kind of funny that it exploded, but yeah, oh, it's so gross. Slimy. We'll see what we learn. I don't know if any... Oh, they're just carrying it over the cell phone. Oh, it's got... <laughs> I like that there. That's very cute. It's got a little picture of a ferret on it. That's very nice. We might actually have time to do the other... The other potential... Conundrum. We can sort it out in this episode if, if our Pikmin get back in time. And it will not require... Actually, I would like to use as many Pikmin as possible to carry this. Usually... In Pikmin games in the past, they would let you use up to double, but I think that it's like maybe like one and a half times. 
Or almost double. I mean, that's, you know, that's close. Oh, it's so, oh, it's so gross. It's so big and, like, thick. Look at that girth trying to slide through that tight avenue. Oh, boy. And, like, we're being kind of drug along with it. That's not even me doing anything. Like, I'm, like, I'm being sucked into this. I have no choice. But that was a pretty clean boss fight. Oh, that's so disgusting. We're gonna head back to the Drake. Into the Drake and see what, uh, what we get from that. As our Pikmin ferry along our, our spoils of war. We actually don't need yellows or reds for the remainder of this episode. I just want more rocks. I'm ready to rock and roll. No, we don't need bomb rocks either. Just regular rocks. All right, here comes the uh, the championship victory parade. Here we go, everybody. Let's uh, let's get a good look at it as it hits the Drake. It's pretty exciting. We are the champions playing in the background. Thankfully, I uh, am not going to play that for you because I'm not going to get copyrighted. Sorry about that, everybody. I'm uh, as big of a Queen fan as any of you, I'm sure. Oh, I'm just... Just suck them up. Suck all that goo up there. Ugh. It's just... I'm sorry. That's just gross. But if I hurry... I might be able to finish off the... Secondary... Part of this... Mission. Once again, I still... I don't need any reds. All rocks, baby. Actually, that's probably enough. I don't even need- I don't even need all of the rocks, to be completely honest. We have a little cutscene here for the Drake. Since we've found this new device. Analyzing the ferret phone. Very adorable. The folded data glutton. I feel like those phones weren't really data gluttons back in the day. I don't remember how much space you could have on a phone like that, but I don't even think it was a gig. Those burner phones that you might use if you're trying to sell some some methamphetamine. But it's a powerful transmitter of signals. Maybe it'll boost our device's capability on the Drake. That's right. Signal strength, baby. Another all-nighter. Oh, Alf, get over yourself. What else would you be doing in your free time? All right. You're being a bit of a turd burglar about it. Plus, you're the guy, all right? Anywho, got 98 rocks and a red's in there. I'm actually gonna leave the red outside. So we, if you remember correctly, we uh, opened this up. So the red can hang out by himself. I, I like kind of running into the Pikmin. I think that's kind of fun. Just to say, hey, soldiers, get yourselves right. I don't know where the red got to. Is the red, wait, where is it? Is the red amongst the rocks? All right, well, you can hang out there. I also don't need the, the bomb rock anymore. Oh, that's bad. Oh, run. Is that gonna kill that red? Oop. Oops, it did, my bad. Oop. That was uh, some friendly fire that was not intentional. But anyway, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. And grab this data file. Before we get ourselves involved with the shaggy long legs. All right, here we go, everybody. That's two boss fights in one day. You are absolutely welcome at D Mike Industries. We take care of all of our clients. So here we go. The shaggy long legs is a very fuzzy arachnoid, which is very gross. What you're gonna wanna do is it's got four legs, as you can see. Oddly enough, this fight doesn't have any sort of like fanfare that the others do where I would have appreciated it to have like cool boss music it starts out that way but then it just kind of fades off which is a bit of a bummer so the three things or four things that you have to be mindful of with the shaggy long legs is its legs have these nasty gross hairs on them that you're gonna want to take and knock all of them off and then once it starts to show its true colors I think we got all four of them. There's one rock Pikmin just hanging out. Yeah, yeah. 
So we did. Actually, it looks like we didn't quite get all the ones on this on this leg. So it's going to shake off some of your Pikmin, but one of the reasons why Rock Pikmin are so valuable for this fight in particular is because Rock Pikmin are immune to being crushed, and the Shaggy Long Legs is a crushing specialist. So if your Pikmin get underneath one of those four legs of that Shaggy Long Legs, it will crush them and kill them. So thankfully, without blowing your Pikmin up and using Rock Pikmin exclusively, you won't have to deal with that at all. You're essentially immune to this boss entirely. Now, one of the things that you have to be careful of is that the Shaggy Long Legs will change the arena in which we are going to fight it. So it will move from the gated area where all of the electric electric gates were, I guess it's just one. Um, it'll move from that to this area. So you just need to be mindful. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, fellas, my dudes, the, the hair is on that one last knuckle, but we need to knock all of its hair off. There we go, and now it's showing its true colors. All right, and now you can charge it at will. There's no at will hiring and firing in D-Mike. If you're here, you're employed for life. All right, so we want to get back on there. Come on, guys, get up, get up, get up. We got damages to do. It's gonna keep stomping around. You wanna attack its big sack there in the middle. There we go, this should be enough to take it out. Oh, just enough, come on. It's got a little bit of health, like a sliver of health. This should do it. Come on, rocks. Yeah, boy! That's what I'm talking about. Here you go, fellas. Well done. Some of which got kind of stuck over the, the median. Okay, if y'all could get it, that'd be great. I kind of feel bad. Either they look like exhaust or like they're dead. Don't worry, they are neither. Pikmin don't get tired, right? They're indentured servitude. I mean, incredible altruism and willingness to always help and jump in is unparalleled, right? Okay, so we're gonna head over here and grab the rest of our crew and our rock Pikmin that, that kind of splattered about here. There we go. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I believe that's all of our Pikmin. I think. The rest are probably at the Drake itself, hanging out. Alright, let me check my map and make sure that I didn't have any of them laying around. Wait, hold on, how much time do I have left? Can I get this real quick? Maybe I can get... <gasps> Guys, maybe we get three fruit in one day. Well, like, I mean, the one fruit that we got, that big green one, is like five pieces of fruit in one, if you if you think about it. Altogether, that big round green orb is, uh... It takes 42 Pikmin, so... All right, so one of the things that's nice is that any Pikmin can dig. It's not just limited to your yellows. So there you go. All of your Pikmin can dig holes. All of them can kill Wallywogs as they try to be absolute turd burglars. Now what's nice is having your Rock Pikmin do this is once again, this is kind of like a small example of the Shaggy Longlegs fight is that Rock Pikmin cannot be squished. So in their, uh, in their, you know, incredible ability to be very steadfast and impervious to squishins. All right, what a great day. That's like two boss fights. Two smaller fruits, one massive fruit, which is probably gonna get us, give us like a ton of juice. I'm very excited for that. So we'll let our rock Pikmin lead the way. There's another fruit over there. Unfortunately, we can't get to that one yet. That's another cherry. We don't have the ability to traverse water yet with Pikmin. By ourselves we do, but that's only so useful. So, and then we've got the uh, nine Pikmin here. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's a very successful day. So yeah, we have got no Pikmin around. Countdown's about to start. Let's go ahead and just, uh, let's just end the day. That's a super successful day, wow. Day 12 in the books, everybody. Pat yourselves in the back for that one. That's a lot of hard work we did today. Well done.
Now we get to find out about that yummy big green orb. And uh, we get to see what that new communication device can do for the communi communication signal strength of the Drake. That's a plot device, so you have to get that at some point. This being our third of the boss fights. That's a pretty fun one. Yeah, ton of new fruit today. They label each of them as being new, but like, I don't know. Like, technically, this is just one big one. Oh, yeah, and one of the things I forgot to mention the last episode, that one weird fruit that I couldn't know the name of, that's a fig. So you're welcome. But this is the Crimson Banquet. Very popular at cookouts and potlucks. That's a watermelon, for those of you who are unaware. Very delicious. And they're seedless varieties. Or maybe if you want to get into a seed spitting contest, you might have the seed version. Let's see how many vials we got. Looks like so far that's one and a half. There's a ton of pieces. And for some reason it's like each of these individual pieces is like its own thing. I don't know why it's treating it like this. It's very strange. But we already had one and a half. That looks to be about two. Just a little bit shy of two. So that's two. And we got two little, two more. Okay, so now, now we have two. Two full vials of that. And then a medium sized chunk. It's just about half. So a watermelon gets you two and a half vials of juice. How about that? Now, once again, we have kiwi. Kiwi watermelon sounds like a pretty good combo. I remember those being like a Capri Sun flavor when I was a kid. Nice green kiwi juice. Delish. Remember I saw somebody eat a kiwi with a spoon once and I wasn't sure what to do with myself. And last but not least, we have the lemon. And that gets us another full vial. What a great day, everybody. A vial and a half, actually. So that's a ton of fruit. We made a ton of progress today. Look at those watermelon vials. Very dark red. So now we have a huge fruit buffer. 25 left. Plenty of juice left. Not that Birdie would ever want to share. So now let's see what our uh, our journal entries like today. We have one Pikmin pair. It's because I accidentally killed it. That was my fault. Whoops. There is friendly fire in this game. And we found out firsthand. At least I didn't drown all my Pikmin. But we got a message today. Looks like we've got a uh, journal entry from Charlie. We showed that beastly mirror slug who was boss and retrieved the communication device without incident. Alpha's working on incorporating the device transmitter into the Drake's communication systems. The creatures on this planet will eat anything. What, gluts? I'm glad we copites aren't like that. Well, I mean, they might be like that. Signed, Charlie. And there's nothing better in the world of Pikmin than a save screen. So we're going to go ahead and erase previous data, because I might have already done this day incorrectly. So I wanted to redo it. And I did it better. So you're welcome. I did that for you guys because I care about you so much. But anyway, that was an episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I've been DMI. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. We had some super good progress today. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.